create a quick little shirt. Let's do a um, PNB Rock edition. So I got my template up. I will leave the link below so you guys can uh, purchase purchase this. I think it's like five dollars. You get your T-shirt template. You it's gonna help you tremendously with Photoshop. And then once you get to design it, you can come to us and we will print them for you. Print and ship. So let's get into it. Let's go to PMB Rock. It's gonna be fast and simple. So you want to go to images. And you come over here to tools. When that drop down come over here, you go to size and large. So we're trying to find a face shot, a full body shot, and a mid, uh, a waist up shot. So let's get one with him actually performing. Then we're going to get like a, a close up face shot and then a whole body. So click on this one. Okay, we'll use this one. Drag and drop with a Mac, or you can save it and upload it with a PC. Okay, go back to Safari. Let's go. I'm gonna grab this one too, in case I don't like the first one. So right now I'm just grabbing my pictures first, and then while I'm doing that, I'm thinking like, uh, I may need a stage, I may need uh, smoke, I might need a Rolex because he like jewelry stuff like that. So this would be the. Uh, Close up face shot. Okay, now let's go get our whole body. Let's go to PNB Rock. Sometimes I use this and it works. Photo shoot. So. Now stuff like this when the, when the car is in there, that, that makes stuff look sweet too. So we're going to just grab that one just in case. And then we're going to go back. I usually use three pictures on the shirt. No, never, no more than four. So I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Right, let me go back to photo shoot. Okay, we will use this one just because Want the video to be short and brief. Okay. So now we got our shirt template right here. Each one of these are a tab. Just like when you um on the internet and you open up a different browser or different tabs, I'm sorry. So this is my shirt template when I click on this. These are all the pictures that I just dragged and dropped on here. So with Photoshop now, you can go to this search bar right here. You have a tool that cuts images out for you. So I'm going to click on that. Come down here to remove background and remove the background for me. So then I'm going to go to the next picture, which is the next tab over. I ain't going to use it on this one because I want to keep this car. So I'm just going to drag this one. Let me stop. I'm going to go back. You see this lock button? You want to hit the lock. Now, when you hit the lock, you should see these boxes that's around the picture. If you don't see these boxes, you need to click on auto select and show transform controls now you see they gone when I turn these on this lets you know what what layer that you want so I'm gonna drag this over here to the Photoshop I me mean to my uh, t-shirt layer and let go 
then it's right there. So now with these boxes around it, I could drag this down and stretch it. So I'm gonna put this right to the corner. Boom. So let's do a heaven color. I'm gonna come over here, unlock my background layer. And if you guys purchase this off the website, then you gotta unlock that and then you can change the color or whatever. So let's go with the, uh, let's go with the sky blue. Okay, boom. So now let's go back here. Let's grab this image, come over here to the shirt template and let go. And it's gonna just drop it right there. So now we're gonna move him about like that. So now you can come back to this um, layer and you can delete this. You don't need it anymore. Hit the X, save changes, don't save. Now that's gone. Click on this second one. We can exit this off, save, don't save. We don't need that one. Third one, let's come here to remove background. And sometimes it don't remove the background all the way. So you can go in there and clean it up even more. And I'll do that after we get the shirt set up. And this is our face shot. So I'll come to the middle of this image, stretch it real big. Probably put that right there. Or up. Hit check. Every time you do something, that check uh, bubble pop up right here, you want to hit that to let that let the computer know that you're done with that um that edit, edit, edit that you just made. Okay, let me go back. Going too fast. Okay, now let's start making some of these pictures look right before we make a next move. So, what I'm gonna do is come down to my eraser tool right here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 one down. And if you just hover over these, it'll let you know what they is. So, if I just stick my mouse on top of this, it's gonna tell you that this is a move tool. This is your main tool. Then here, this is your rectangular marquee tool. And you got your your poly polygonal lasso. I call it your lasso tool. Magic wand, crop tool. This is your frame tool, and it kind of show you what the things that it do. This is your eyedropper tool to sample your colors. This is your patch tool. This is your brush tool, clone tool. This is your history. This is your eraser tool. So let's click on eraser. Just speed it back up. So now, if you if you in your eraser tool and it look like a plus and you are making it smaller and bigger, and now you can right click and you will see your size and hardness. So if you if you if you, if you making this big, if you making your your size big and it's still looking like this hit the shift button, I mean the caps lock, and then it will switch it to a circle. So I'm hitting caps lock right now, and it's going from the, to, from the cross it, burb, uh, arrow to the circle, and I like the circle. So now, let's come over here to this layer, and we're going to come over here to where it says layer one, double left click, and name this car. Enter. And if I turn that eyeball off right here, all these are your layer eyes, meaning that they're visible is your visible visibility so I turn the car layer off he would disappear and then now I'm gonna come get my move tool and click on this one now now I'm on this layer I'm gonna come double left le double left click on the layer two and name this one uh, sit down enter so now I can turn that picture off. So now we're gonna name this the face shot. I clicked on this layer, double left click, face. And if I turn this off, that's off, right? So let's turn back on the car and we go click on the car over here. See, if you click on each one of these, it's selecting it. So I click on car. Now I'm gonna get my eraser tool or the shortcut is press, just press E. When I press E, I get this. So now I'm gonna come in, and you, your size is over here for your uh, eraser. You gonna make it small. See that circle? Large and large. 
So now I'm just going to start erasing. You guys really need to practice with the eraser. I'm pretty fast with it. So I'm just going to hurry up. And you guys just, once you practice, 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 you will get better with it. Some of these rappers already already have a logo. So while I'm designing this, I'm thinking of other, other things I can do. So usually when you have a celebrity, they gave you a logo when you uh, let them know your name, stuff like that. So I'm already thinking about typing in PNB Rock logo. And nine times out of 10, you got a logo just to have something that pops out and kind of um, make it close to him. For instance, if I was doing a Jay-Z shirt, I would use The Rock or something like that. The, the things we knew him by, if it was Meek Mill, we would do a Dream Chaser. Something like that because they all have logos that they represent. That's their brand. So with the race, I get in as close as I can. What I do first, I'm just breaking it up from the original background. Then I'm going to show you my trick. Boom. So now I ain't nothing touching the car or him. So now I come in to get my one, two, three down, my lasso. And I go inside of that gap that I just made. And double left click. And it's going to make the marching ants go around everything that you just did. Then you push delete. So now this tool, every time I click it, left click is going to give you a point so you can make you a box and when you double left click it connects so you could do zigzags but when you double click it's going to connect them and then you hit anything inside of here will delete so what I do is make my shapes follow the path that I just cleared out for myself go inside of here come up double left click delete Go back in. Every time you hear my mouse click, that's me changing the angle. Double left click, delete. Boom. So now I'm going to the face pick. Let's go to face, select that one. Now we're going to get the eraser. Adjust your uh, eraser size by right clicking and then adjusting the size to make this circle bigger or smaller. So now I'm going in and see that little extra stuff on the neck that the, uh, the tool didn't automatically get out, so I just clean them up. Okay, boom, now we got that. Now we see we got this little extra right here. I click back on him, which is the car pick, and go on and clean him up. Okay, we had one more picture with we'll sit down. Okay. So now, with, over here with the layers, we're going to grab, we're going to go to the template, move it, drag it with the left click, and let go. Now it's at the top. And we're going to hit a lock. We're going to lock that layer. So now everything else is under this actual t-shirt template. If I turn the template off, we got a box. Turn the template on, we have the t-shirt template to design in. Boom. Okay, now this picture face picture we want that behind the sit down picture so we see face sit down drag the face behind the sit down now his neck then went behind here before it was in front now behind so now let's go clear his hair up we still on the face shot let's go to 
eraser, clean up the hair. Okay, that really don't matter. So now, we just gonna put a city behind him. I don't know where he from, I think Philly. Let's type in, I think Philly, if not, you can correct me. It really don't matter, we just showing you guys how to uh, design. So let's go to Philly Skyline Images. I go to Tools Large. So now that we got a nice skyline, let's get this one or this one. I got. We we'll get this one. It got clouds in it already. So we drag and drop, or save and import. Now we're gonna come to our move tool, take this lock off, remember, and drag this over to the T-shirt tab. Let go. Come over here. Name it. City. Now we're gonna drag from the middle. Then once you're done with that, see that check pop back up? Check to let the computer know we're done with that. Now, guess what? This city is covering the face. See the face under there, under the city? Drag the city under the face. Boom. Now, get our eraser. I'm gonna make the eraser a little bigger. I push right click and made this diameter bigger. And you see my hardness is on 13, so it's just fading. Right. So it's coming together already. So now we're gonna go type in PNB Rock logo. Okay, so he is, his thing is the uh PNB Rock. Okay, let's just say it's this. I don't know what his logo is. Drag and drop. Now when you got images of like white and blacks, I'll come over here, take the lock off. Come get my magic wand, and I just click on the white. Then hit delete. And it gets everything done for me. Now I drag and drop this over here to the shirt template. Now you see we still ain't get rid of some of the white, so I'll go back, get my magic wand. Click on the white. Turn this to 100. If your tolerance is on 11 or whatever, turn it to 100. Now when I click in there, it'll be a solid. Hold down shift, left click on all the white while holding shift. Then delete. And I still got a little debris right here so what I'm gonna do is do a trick is I'm gonna come to this layer I'm gonna type in his logo and double left click now I get my layer styles I'm gonna go to an outer glow and I'm gonna make it spread in the sides then I'm gonna turn the opacity to 100 now see it made it like glow hit OK We're just gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna go to Rolex. Let's just speed it up. Rolex watch. Images. Tools. Size large. 
So let's see this. Okay, we got a bus down. Let's bring this in. Boom. So let's go back to this uh, magnifying glass. It's really a search. And once these pops up, you hit your remove background button. It should cut that watch out for you and remove, uh, remove the uh, inches over here. Boom. So now we grab this and bring it over. Let go. Now we're going to stretch this. Huge. And this is going to be a sweet right sleeve for somebody. And you hit check. See, it's fuzzy like that. You hit check. And to clear it up if it's a clear picture. Boom. So now we getting somewhere. Guess what? It's just a rest in peace. So we need wings. We need we need doves. Then we done. That fast. Let's type in wings. PNG. Images. So let's go here. Let's bring this in. Now we're going to hit go here again to our uh, search, remove background, cut the wings off for me. Thank you. So I'm going to delete some of this old stuff because many tabs that you add at the top, it started knocking your uh, your t-shirt template further and further away. Now I'm bring this over. Boom. As soon as you bring something in, try to perfect naming stuff. So I got this one. I'm going to name this wings so when you start seeing stuff on top of stuff so look you got wings and then you got face I want my wings to go behind the face drag your wings under the face come up here stretch them out and then hit check it's gonna clear them up boom so now I'm gonna get my eraser Come fade. Come on, y'all. We doing this. Now, let's go get that logo and move it up a little bit because now it's behind the wings since we added them. Get that, come get, get that logo. Just put it right there so that'd be like left chest, something like that. Now, let's go get a dove, some dove PNG. So my favorite bird is, let's see who he at. It looked like him kind of, but let's get him. Drag and drop or save and import. Let's bring this in. Delete some stuff. Don't say we already use the city. Okay, drag and drop. So now we find somewhere for the dove. Let's go. So the dove, let's name him. Dove. And so I'm gonna just dove to come above everything. And now you kind of don't see him because of the, the watch color. I'm gonna double left click on the dove layer. Add a drop shadow. Now my color on there now is purple. I'm gonna hit inside that box and come over here with my sampler tool and get a blue. Okay, turn my opacity up so it's a little darker. And then you can play with the size, see how it's going big and small. And that just makes it pop off a little bit. So it's more visible. And you can make your dove any size that you want. So I'm gonna come over here with him. Make that big. And I probably just use one dove and click on him, click on E, make my di diameter smaller and just clear up his shoes a little bit. Another cool trick for you guys, 
if he's looking dark, you come up here to image, adjustments, brightness, and just lighten them up. Okay. So that's a quick tutorial on the PNB Rock Rest in Peace shirt. Um, I was put the links below so you can get the t-shirt template and stuff like that. And let's get it, y'all. Send me some proofs. Don't forget to join our school. Don't forget to subscribe. Our school name is Amazing School of Designers on Facebook. Come join our community. We are nice. Whole bunch of dope people in there. We all learning. We all critiquing each other. And hey, if you need a one-on-one -on -one class, hit me up also. All links will be below. Have a beautiful day. PNB Rock. RIP shirt.